everybody. Today is Sunday, June 27th. And as you can see, I am back at that newer field permission. Haven't been out here in probably a month or so. I've been pretty busy with uh, work and doing some trainings and uh, also been going to the fairgrounds quite a bit in the last three, four weeks now. But I'm gonna be uh, taking a break from there guys for a little bit uh, until at least we get some substantial amount of rain so the ground is a bit more conductive over there since um, I don't want to keep repeating myself but if you've uh, been watching my last three videos I made there the ground is incredibly mineralized and um, it is so much easier to find the targets after rainfall so I'm gonna wait until we get some good rain coming in to go back there meantime i'll be either coming here or i'm gonna be uh getting some older permissions town commons um and uh probably be finding some other permissions as well also guys uh, before i get into my find i do want to thank all my new subscribers i do appreciate that i know that uh I haven't said that enough, but I really do appreciate that. I am at 20 subscribers now. <laughs> um, still a lot better than where I was uh, last time I was here. And I also want to give a shout out to a friend of mine that I detect with sometimes. He also has a channel. Um, he gave a shout out to me probably last month on one of his videos. And uh, I don't know if some of my new subscribers follow him and then kind of, uh, jumped on the bandwagon onto my channel but either way uh, district 9 detector if uh any of you that have subscribed to me that don't know his channel um please visit his channel he has a ton of metal detectors i kind of bust his ball sometimes because he's got so many of them but he's got pretty good content and he's always out detecting and he's always using different metal detectors and he goes into pretty uh, pretty good description about the detectors that he uses. So please, uh, if you have the time, check out his channel. I will leave a link to on my description on this video. So if you want to check him out, awesome. Um, anyways, guys, on to the first great find today. And also <laughs> my first hole of the day. Check it out. Cuff button. Solid 16. Thought it was going to be a bottle cap because of how shallow it was. And it wasn't. <laughs> um, what I'm going to be doing today, guys, since I'm probably only going to be out here for an hour or two because of the damn heat, uh, I'm going to probably be digging a lot of holes. Um, more than I usually do because of uh, the time constraints. But any good tone, I'm gonna dig it. Hopefully they're all like this or better, but we'll find out. But yeah, first hole guys, small cuff button. Probably has some cool ornate stuff on the back of it. I'll have to get it home, get it cleaned up as usual. And we'll find out, but sweet. On to the next guys. All right guys, I uh, got a Pretty good target, doesn't look too deep either. Of course, that little cuff button I just dug about 15 minutes ago was real shallow, so. Uh, this is a, I think it was, what did it say? I think it was like 15 to 19, or 17 to 19, but I'll show it to you in a second. Uh, right where all these rocks are right here. Um, so I'll show you that to you right now. <laughs> Nineteen, eighteen. Sorry for the glare. <clears throat> Nineteen. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna do a live dig too because I'm in the fields, even though it's kind of rocky over here. Feel a hell of a lot better than all the roots and stuff in the woods or even in fairgrounds. I don't know. 
This could also be a bottle cap, but that's what I thought about the other one too. We'll see what happens. Oh, rocks. Still 1819, and it's out of the hole. See what it is. Check if it works. Works. It's gonna be a can. Ooh, what do we got here? Huh, that looks like a musket ball. But it's got like the tip still too. Oh, that's cool. At least I think that's a musket ball. Or I, I don't know. Huh. Sorry for the glare, guys. And it's, it's pretty windy too, so if you're having a hard time hearing me, I apologize. I think that's a musket ball. Gonna rub it on my paint leg real quick. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Sweet. Of course, then again, I don't know what's up with this. I've never pulled a musket ball, and I know that they do have points to them sometimes when they were in the molds. So maybe this is one that was in a mold, like the other one that I pulled, but this one doesn't have a flat side to it. That's cool. This almost looks like a shank though. See that? That's weird. I hope it's not like a fishing sinker. <laughs> nice. If any of you guys know, please leave a comment. I hope like hell this ain't no fishing sinker. Shouldn't be. It's about the size of a musket ball. Cool. On to the next. All right, guys. I had a real iffy, like nine to 14 negative numbers were jumping in there too a little bit, which is iron. Um, and when I talk about iffy, I mean, honestly, this is why I didn't do a live dig or even show it when it was uh, initially showing up on my detector because the numbers were so bad that I'm only digging it just because the depth was there. And like I said, I'm basically digging everything today because I'm only going to be out here for probably another half hour. Now, <laughs> I don't want to get too excited. It's out of the hole, haven't seen it yet, just saw a piece of it with the pin pointer. Can you see it? What does that look like? I'm gonna go with maybe a coin? At worst, it's gonna be a button. Actually, no, at worst, it could be a shotgun shell. But, um,. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. And honest to God, guys, I mean, obviously the depth is there. But, again, numbers all over the place. Oof. Let's see what it is, shall we? Sweet. Sorry for the glare. Ooh, I don't know. That could be that could be coin. That could be button. It ain't paper thin. Up, uh, up. Uh, it's a button. I got the shank. Oh well, I'll take it. Yep, that's a button. 
Oof, I got super excited. I'll take it though, guys. Hell yeah. Two buttons today so far. I think it might be a tom back. That's my first tom back, if that's the case, especially on this permission. Pulled a lot of flat buttons, cuff button. But I think this is gonna be a tom back. Shanks busted. Oh yeah. Man, them iffy signals. I'm telling you. It looks like I got chewed up a little bit too on the sides, unfortunately. Have to get it home, get it cleaned up. Might have something on the front of it. Let me rub it on my pant leg real quick. Huh, it might have something on there. Yeah, that is just so old. It's just got scuff marks on it. Looks pretty rough. I mean, the, this side got real chewed up, unfortunately. Sweet though, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Couple more holes, guys, and I'm probably getting out of here. It's, I'm sweating to death right now. Sweet. As you can see, guys, I moved into uh, another location over here on this permission. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but uh, the farmer was here a little while ago plowing this section of the field along with over there, and then way, way over there on the other side along with over there and there. I mean, a lot of land to cover, but um, I'm trying to focus as much as I can closer to that. Uh, the area he told me um, when he bought the property or his family had bought the property uh, like 40, 50 years ago, um, the area of the land that was still plowed when he had came here and the newer parts where he has started plowing over there I've kind of been avoiding because I want to stay closer to the older areas. Um, anyways, he just did this one, as I just said, and I came over here for a little bit. Uh, I'm getting pretty burnt right now, so I'll be getting out of here soon. And I had a 14, 15, I don't know, it looks like a ball bearing. Not nothing too impressive, but... At least that's what I think it is, a ball bearing. Probably off of some type of common farm equipment. But, uh, also, I found a piece of lead, which I know isn't the greatest find, but it does uh, at least give me hope that there's gonna be some older finds over here. I don't know if this is just a piece of lead or fired musket ball, but that was actually a surface find. It was right around over here somewhere. Like 1921. Saw the uh, the outline of it sticking out. Thought it was gonna be a large scent on the, on the soil, but nah, I'm not that lucky. <laughs> but hey, uh, you know, like I said, this old piece of lead, this could be the, either a, excuse me, either a fired musket ball or just a big piece of lead. Don't know, but we'll keep swinging a little longer and then I'm getting out of here because I'm pretty burnt right now. All right, hopefully we can find something else. All right guys, this is the wrap up video for tonight. I'm gonna try and make this as quick as I can, but you know me, I like to ramble and mumble a lot. So uh, bear with me. Um, and also if you're having a hard time hearing me guys, again, I live on a, a dam, so the waterfall is usually raging all of the time. The only time it ain't going is if there's a severe drought or if they're doing maintenance on it. Um, so anyways, just bear with me. I just enjoy actually doing my, uh, my wrap up videos on the back steps or just outside in general, just for obvious reasons, especially, you know, in the summertime. 
Um, also did not find this today. That is, uh, that found me after the, the hunt. <laughs> no, anyways, um, as you can see guys, I dug a fair amount of holes as I said I would today. In the short time I was out there, hour and a half, two hours tops. It was just so damn hot out there in them fields. Um, 88 degrees, I think it was today. And the next couple days, it's going to be in the 90s. So I probably won't get out. But I needed to swing that coil, man. It is an addiction. Anyways, guys, uh, on to the good finds. Um, didn't get a lot of great stuff today in that short amount of time. However, I did pull this, what appears to be a musket ball, but I still don't know. So if anybody does, please leave a comment. I would very much appreciate it. And the only reason why I'm still apprehensive that it isn't a musket ball is because the top here. That looks like maybe where a shank for a button would have been. But this is definitely not like a ball button. That's lead. That's definitely... Uh, you know, like a musket ball or a round ball, whatever. Um, but it's definitely the first for me. Usually I pull them out and they've got either that little flat spot or they got a seam across around it where it was actually in a mold. And I do have like one or two of them that have a point, which would symbolize that also being in the mold and they would like just clip the top of it off afterwards this i don't know this is a first for me and i hope like hell it ain't like a friggin' fishing sinker which i don't think it is but um again like if anybody knows please leave a comment either that or i'll have to put it up on a forum and see what people think but i think it will probably be my best find today because it's it's different and i don't know what it is anyways um Surface fine, big piece of lead. Might be a fired musket ball, might just be nothing at all. Showed up as like a 19 to 21 on the Knox. Always good though. Especially when if it's a big hunk of lead like this, I always think they're fired musket balls. I don't know. Um, here is that uh, little cuff button that I pulled. First hole of the day. The only words I can make out is A, N, and D. Uh, the rest of it, guys, is pretty rough. I mean, this thing is so degraded that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get make out the rest of it. And the shank's a little warped and or busted, so I don't know. Still a great find, though. I'm telling you, them buttons, they gravitate towards me. I used to hate it, but now I've kind of just accepted it. <laughs> I actually, no, I, you know, it really is. I really enjoy finding them some, you know, especially the dandy button. So I'm, I should, I should take that back. I, I really, I really do love the colonial stuff. So if this is colonial, awesome. Even if it's not, still a good find. And then we have probably my, I think this is going to be a Tom back. Um, pretty sure it is. Shank also busted. Got it a little torn up, but still a great find. Probably my first uh, Tom back button, I believe, in that new field permission. So that's cool. Um, yeah, not much else I can say about it, but it's too bad that it, it's so cut up over here. But, you know, things that are out in the field for that long, they're bound to get chewed up eventually. And then I just have this common uh, ball bearing. Nothing too impressive. Anyways, guys, uh, that'll do it for tonight. This hunt, this dig, you know, the, uh, the spiel. Um, again, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I very much appreciate it. And more good stuff coming soon. Um, Bear with me. I will go back to the old fairgrounds uh, when it rains so I can have a, a better um, a better time actually targeting those uh, really good uh, those good targets. <laughs> I think the beer is kicking in. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, have yourself a great night. Um, again, please uh, 
check out my buddy's channel, District 9 Detector. I will leave a link in my description. And have yourself a great night, guys. Later.